it is time to review some scuba memes. Welcome to Scuba Meme Review. And if it's your first time at Dive Vibe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any dope diving related content. Right, let's get started. I love a good wholesome meme. I love it. And just the combination of the uh, Skyrim meme and the hammerheads are just really sort of unfortunate looking if you think about it. I mean, they're, they're cool, don't get me wrong. Love a good hammerhead shark. All right, next. The Bernie meme is inevitable. I love this one though, because this is like the classic dive guide stance when they spin around to check how much air everyone has or as I like to call it, how long they have left to live. So uh, this is the time when you're most likely to get lied to as a dive guide, because you spin around and you ask, say, how much air you got? And then someone tells you, oh, I got 2,000 PSI, and then you catch a sneak peek at their gauge later, and they don't have 2,000 PSI. Don't lie to your dive guide about how much air you have. It's not smart. All right, what do we got next? How we look at people who prefer jacket type BCD over backplate and wing. This is actually very true. I myself am a backplate and wing lover. I love the modularity of it. I love the custom fit. It just, in my opinion, you just can't beat it. But that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with jacket style or regular old back and flay BCDs. If you're just doing recreational diving, who cares? As long as you're happy with what you're diving, dive it. Uh, as long as it's safe. That guy with the propane tank and the hose coming out of it. Her, I like brave men. Him, I'm a cave diver. <laughs> I wish this was true. Unfortunately, um, I think this only works if you look like Chris Pratt and most cave divers do not look like Chris Pratt. They look like this. Yeah, so this is about right. This is the progression. First, you start off diving. This is exactly how it was for me. I, as soon as I started my diving course, I was at home on YouTube looking up tech diving videos. Like, oh my God, that's so cool. I want more than one tank. And then you start to check out cave diving. And if that didn't cost you enough money, don't worry. CCR diving's right around the corner for you. <laughs> Have fun, buddy. I love this one. I'm a tech diver now. You have to take actual courses in the water. I watched a video on YouTube. If you want to be a technical diver, then you want to take a technical diving course. Trust me, unless you've got a death wish or something. <laughs> There's a bit of truth to this. Rebreather divers really aren't big fans of bubbles. We do bubble checks at the beginning of every dive just to make sure that our units aren't bubbling because bubbles usually mean a leak and a leak usually means water and water usually means... That's a whole nother video. Bad things. All right, I got one more for you. It's not quite a meme, more of a cursed image than anything else. Wow, this is a scooter version of the Christmas tree diver. Is this guy got enough stuff on here? Damn, damn. Yeah. I really do enjoy his creative use of the camera mount, but wow, that's a lot of stuff. Thanks for tuning in. This was my first ever scuba meme review. So let me know what you thought in the comments. And if you liked it, go ahead and drop a like. And if you want to see more stuff like this in the future, then definitely hit that subscribe button because I've got all sorts of dive related content coming down the pipe. Next week is going to be a sick dive video. And I hope you guys will come back and check that out. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the water. Oh, and one more thing. If you wear clothes and you want to support the channel, new dive vibe shirts available in the store. Link in the description. Thanks.